the Admiral's Inn Hotel. Just across the street was where they had the sail loft and cabin. That's where the sails for the yachts were being repaired and getting them ready for sailing again. However, up to this day, it's still used for the same purpose. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Straight to the back where you see that brick building. Yes. That was where the kitchen was located back in the day. That was where all these scrumptious meals were cooked. Yeah. However, it's now used as a bakery, the Dockyard's Bakery. But since it's the low season, it's closed off. Actually. All right? Yeah. This gray and white structure, that's known as the Admiral's House. Ah. And it was also rumored to be Nelson's residence. Yeah. But he never stayed there since that building was a... No. That building was constructed 50 years after he came to Antigua. Ah. That was actually the last building to be constructed in Nelson's dockyard. Ah, However, it's now used as a dockyard's museum and also the restoration gift shop. So, if you, at the end of the tour, if you want some additional information, and if you want to see the bed you never slept on, <laughs> you're free to browse on the inside, and there's also a souvenir shop. Yeah. All right? Straight across from that yellow brick building, that was where copper and lumber was stored back in the day. Okay. On the bottom floor where the copper and lumber was stored, and on the top floor where the yachtsmen stayed, while they both were being careened. That building also has now been used as a hotel. The copper and lumber store hotel and restaurant. It houses 14 rooms, 13 of which were named off of Nelson's yachts, and one <coughs> off of his best friend Hardy. Alright, any questions? No. no. How's the tour so far?